Hello, this is a short video tutorial on how to set up your email in Outlook. So first, let's open your Outlook email program and when you have opened it, go to Mail and then you'll see at the top in the top toolbar a tab called Tools. When you click on it, you'll get a drop-down menu and one of the um, items will be Email Accounts. Click on that one and you'll get to this screen uh, which is your current settings. Now you'll have two options here. I've marked it one and two. The first one is view or change email accounts. If you already have an email account set up in Outlook then it's a good idea to click on that one and go and have a look at what your outgoing server settings are because if it's currently working then we want to use the same settings in the new account that we're going to set up. So let's assume that you click on view or change. You see button three which is next that will bring you to this screen which lists the email accounts that you're currently uh, receiving through Outlook. You may only have one in there uh, and if you do, fine. Uh, click on change, that's the top button where I've got a red line and that will enable you to go in and have a look at what the settings are. And the one that we're interested in is this one here, outgoing mail server and in my case the outgoing mail server is mail.bigpond.com because I use Telstra. If uh, you're with somebody else then you'll have other, uh, another um, item there, another setting. Now the one above it, incoming mail server, that's the one we're going to change on the new one. So once you've written down what your outgoing mail server settings are then we click on back so that we get to this uh, email accounts window again and now we're going to click on add because we're going to add a new email account so click on add first screen asks you what type of email account it's going to be of course it's a pop 3 click on that click next and now you come to the window that you saw before but this time it's empty and what we're going to do here is e enter your information the first part is your name you can either put your first name you can put your full name Rick Vatner for instance or if you've got a handle that you want people to know you by then you can put that it could be Arcanum or it could be if you're setting up an email account for info at your domain name you would put in there info if you're setting up another one for accounts at your domain name then in there you would put accounts and so that will be the short name that people see underneath that you put the full email address so if it was your email address or for instance in my case it's Rick at bacnetwork.com.au if you were setting one up for info it would be info at bacnetwork.com.au of course you replace BAC Network with your own domain name in the incoming server if your uh, website is hosted with us and therefore your email is uh, in the same location then you put in there mail.tppinternet.net.au because when you receive email it's coming from our server but when you send email you're using your outgoing ISP that is the uh, the company that you use to access the internet and they would have given you a mail server address to put in there and you probably saw it on a previous email as, we, as I showed you a bit earlier now for the logon information that is so that when you click on send or receive your email account has to connect to our server and so we know it's really you it has to give us a username and password your username is your whole email address so it's either rick at bacnetwork.com.au for instance or info at bacnetwork.com.au whatever the email address is that you're setting up the password will be the password that we sent you when we set up the accounts maybe you told us what you wanted to have as a password and as long as we were able to get that uh, we would have confirmed that back to you by email. Other, other than that, if you didn't tell us what you wanted, then we uh, would have allocated a password to you. Once you put it in there, the little box here that says remember password should be ticked. Once you've done that, you probably never need to know that password again. Or maybe if you're going to go online, uh, if you're going to access your webmail, which we'll talk about in another tutorial. Uh, now, once we've done all that, we're pretty much finished but before we go we want to test your account settings to make sure that everything's working correctly so click the test account settings button that will bring you to this window and you will see these things actually happening 
uh, and as it does each task it completes it and hopefully puts a tick on the left hand side if you see a red cross next to any of these it means that you haven't set it up correctly for that particular area so you need then to click on the back button go back to here and check what you've written in you may have missed out the at sign for instance in your email address somewhere uh, or you may have just typed uh, something wrong and it couldn't log on so once you've got all that correct and you get all these ticks on the left hand side you're pretty much finished so we're going to click close but I want you then to click on the on this button here at the bottom right hand corner which says more settings when you click on that you will see in there the name is mail.tpp internet .net.au that's the default name that the account gives to every email address you set up so if you set up six of them they're all going to be called mail.tpp internet and of course that's not going to be any good to you so what we're going to do now is just replace that with your email address so that when you see them in that list that's here when you see them in the list that each one of them is going to have their own identifying name so if you need to change anything to do with one of these email addresses at least you can find it easily okay so once you've changed that to your email address uh, you can put the name of your company there if you want to it really makes no difference you can click OK and then you really have finished unless of course you've got to set up some more email accounts so if you do settle back and enjoy it and thanks for choosing BAC Network feel free to send me an email sometime especially if you need any help or advice just send us an email now that you're connected thank you very much